Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Unlimited Science by Sir Yored, and today we are going to talk about weather. What is the weather for today? When you leave for school in the morning, the weather might be different from what it is when you head home in the afternoon. Always remember that weather constantly changes. It is affected by the movement of air and moisture in the atmosphere, and our activities are also affected by the kind of weather that we have. Technically, we define weather as a short-term change. It refers to the condition of the atmosphere at a given time in a particular place, meaning weather might be different from one place to another at different times. And it is being affected by the different factors which we call elements of weather. One of those factors is air temperature, refers to the degrees of hotness or coldness of air. Temperature on Earth averages 15 degrees Celsius at sea level. However, it varies according to the elevation, location of the place, and the time of the day. The higher the elevation, the lower the temperature. Temperature also differs according to the latitude or location of place in the globe. Places near the tropics and equator have high temperature compared to the poles. Temperature differs based on the time of the day. It is usually warm during mid-afternoon and cold around dawn. Next one is humidity. It's a measure of moisture present in the air. The air's capacity to hold water vapor is limited but increases severely as the air warms. When the temperature of the atmosphere is high, the water in the Earth's surface evaporates rapidly. So, the amount of water vapor present in the air is high. The amount of water vapor in the air contributes to the change of weather. High water vapor in the air means precipitation could occur. Relative humidity differs in the time of the day. The relative humidity is high around dawn when the temperature is low. It is low in the afternoon when the temperature is high. This happens when the amount of water vapor in the air is constant. The relative humidity decreases as the air is heated and increases as the air is cool. Precipitation is any form of moisture including rain, drizzle, snow, freezing rain, hail, ice pallets, or sleet that falls on the ground. Precipitation usually forms when cloud reaches the thickness of more than one kilometer. When droplets and crystals in clouds grow large and the clouds cannot hold them, they fall to the ground as precipitation. The precipitation that usually occurs in our country, the Philippines, includes rain, drizzles, and hailstones. Air pressure is the force of the air at a given surface divided by the area of that surface. It plays a vital role in all weather systems. Large regions in the atmosphere that have higher pressure than the surroundings are called high pressure areas. Regions with lower pressure than the surroundings area are called low pressure area. Most storms occur in low pressure area. That's why we normally hear this during news report. Low pressure area usually occurs in warm oceans during summer seasons. 
It is a barometer rapidly falling pressure usually means a storm is approaching whether rapidly rising pressure usually indicates clear sky. Another one is cloud cover. Cloud cover also affects the kind of weather so the amount of water vapor in the air also indicates the type of cloud or the amount of cloud to be condensed. Of course, the thicker the cloud cover, the lower the temperature in the surface. And these are the different elements of weather. Thanks for watching! If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also like if you like this video and share to your friends and to those students who are now attending online classes. I hope this video helped in a little way that I can. See you on the future videos. Thank you!